Well, hello all. So I'm just doing some quick repairs to the car. So from all the dirt roads, the uh, mud flap has got a little bit loose. So still got the clip in it. So I'm just going to pop that clip out. What the problem is, is that the clip has failed behind it. So no longer is staying in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a, a bolt through it. That should hold it. It's only a mud flap. And the whole clip is actually still there. So I thought that I'd have to replace it with my bolt. And no, because the way it works, under here, yeah, if you can see it, it actually just squeezes a little bit apart. So what's happened, I guess it's for uh, so you don't wreck your mud flap. Is it? It's pulled it out of its little place. As you can see, how it wobbles. And that's all it's done. It's just pulled it. So I just had to stick it back all back again, in again. Under here. Might as well check out to see what the undercarriage is like. So one of the things I've just noticed is that rubber bushing there is all cracked for the suspension. And that I think is where my clunk is going, coming from out the front, is the front's all done the same. All the rubbers are all perished things too old so all the suspensions all clunking and everything so I have a look at the front suspension and I can't really see much from the tower the tower looks all right the cars covered in cobwebs from sitting it just doesn't get used much all the suspension here is all good. But I wouldn't be surprised if some of these rubbers and all that sort of thing are deteriorated. I can't see anything, but sway bar looks fine. I've been told what can happen though is the shock mounts the rubbers can deteriorate that one looks fine and that's probably where my clunking is coming from it's from the shock tower so Scotty put me on to that um, he said if it only happens going over the gutters just and there's no movement in the uh, in the tyre itself then it'll be the upper shock mount that is um, rubber's deteriorated oh these poor old tyres as well Yep, there's not much life left in them. So, what's our trouble? Our trouble here is that this is supposed to open by itself and stay open. So these gas struts are had it. So we need to replace them with new ones. Now I bought these quite a long time ago and I've just never replaced them. 
and the car needs a bit of a clean it needs a good detail so I've got to replace replace those things so let's do that okay so you don't actually end up taking the actual clip off you just get your screwdriver in there and loosen it and same with the, the other end let's get your screwdriver in and loosen up that clip on the end so I've got one off so let's try and put one in one of the things I will do is measure the saw the height because these are adjustable they got a little adjustment on the bottom so just make sure that it will fit slightly different design as you would expect so let's try it so I've got the new one in so it's basically the reverse process just make sure that it actually is clipped in properly and and the top is all clipped in properly so that's it done so if I lower it and that's just with one so this one has also got to be replaced so again now that I've actually got it up you get the screwdriver in in the end here oh. actually this one is easier to do I'd recommend probably doing this one first because it's bigger So you just get your screwdriver in and undo it and because I've got one in I can let it dangle what I did because they both failed I actually rested it just gently on the paint here making sure I don't scratch it and the tough one to get out I don't know why this little one is so tough. So you screwdriver in. Still can't get it. Oh, it's a lot tougher this one. There we go. Just pops off. We'll grab our next one. Just make sure before I put it on because uh, these ones are wherever it is are not factory they're just a generic gas strut make sure it matches up to the same size and diameter which is pretty close so let's go and put this one on so again the same process but put in the big one first because it's easier so I need to get your screwdriver in and put that one in so let's do that and unfortunately I need both hands to do that now one of the things I should mention is to make sure that these ones in particular are not rusted out, your little bowl joint there and your little bowl joint there. Not too sure how to replace that one. Uh, it doesn't look like it's welded so it's probably just, looks like it's got a bolt there and a bolt there so you probably just have to take off the trim to get to that one. And this one, it's just a glass one. So again, on this side, just check to see that your bowls are in good condition and not rusty. Oh, that's a lot harder. 
and up it goes. So now we can leave the back open with the dogs. You're supervising me, sweetie. Okay. Wolfie is supervising me as well. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. So that's all the jobs done. And uh, extra parts. Which I can just chuck them in the bin, I guess. And uh, we will catch you all later. Have a good day, everybody. See you.